Hey guys, it's Bashar Zori and I'm back with another speed paint. And this one's called Stereotypical Anime Guy. And there is a good reason for that one. It's because you would see this anime guy in all sorts of cartoons if you were to kind of put a face to any stereotypical anime male character um, that you might see in one. Usually wearing one sort of like robe or something, some sort of like hero's robe with crazy hair. Um, you know, with that, sort of like a, you know, uh, that theme, that anime theme style coloring to him. Um, I, I've got this, um, this tendency to, uh, sort of like how you would say, um, overdo, like not overdo, but, um, exaggerate things a lot. So I think even as an anime, uh, guy, he's, over exaggerated more than even an anime guy would be, or at least that's what I hope you guys will see its end results. Um, but yeah, um, this anime guy, um, the, the, the speed painting itself was, um, it was long and hard to do. There were so many different things that I felt like had to be crossed, lots of, lots of new techniques that I had to learn. Um, Lots of Photoshop techniques that I had to figure out. Lots of things that I had seen online of people doing certain things that I really looked up to and thought, oh wow, those look beautiful, those techniques. So um, I'll give you one example, um, the hair. Um, the hair itself, um, when I first did the hair, um, you know, my typical method of doing hair is to just color in like, like large strands, like clumps of strands of hair. And as you can see here from the pencil sketch, it, it is large clumps of strands. Um, it is pretty much just um, shaded uh, volumetric um, volumes of hair, I would say, like just kind of pieces of it. So what I did was I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to go slow. I'm going to go ahead and paint the hair the way I would normally paint it. And that's what you can see me here doing. Um, the thing is, though, um, I did try to kind of ease into the idea of maybe um, giving the hair or the way I draw hair a new style. So as you can see here, I'm adding yellow to the brown, um, just kind of going along and then adding some red. But the funny thing is, this is where it, get, it gets interesting. I start adding the um, the strands themselves, and even though I overdid it, it turned out really well after I dodged and burned everything. It looked so lifelike in my point, from my point of view. It looked so three dimensional, and I really enjoyed that. Um, this plaster here, it was harder to do than you might think, um, just because I had to really get the lining right. Um, but then here, this is the tedious part of the robe, um, the clothing. It's just that you have to pick the right colors. And for me, color picking is just such a hassle. You know, I have to constantly go around in circles on the color wheel um, and just constantly, like, you know, pick a certain color. It literally takes me, like, 10 seconds to pick one good color to use, if not more than 10 seconds to really find the exact color that I want to use. And so doing that is a big hassle. And then coloring everything in, I usually use a small brush um, because I want to make sure I get all the ends exact, which just takes up way more time from the speed paint than it needs to. So even at one point, like I, I put the brush uh, size up and then I just started coloring, but it still took a lot of time because I'm, I, I tend to go really slowly with the stylus anyway. So, um, yeah, it was it was something very tedious to do. And also, it was something where I wanted some sort of original technique implemented. Um, it wasn't something where I wanted it to just be some sort of, you know, like the where, where I kind of laid the merging down for the layers right here, where you see all of a sudden the multiplied red turn into a normal red. Um, it wasn't expected, but I just kept it that way. <coughs> The um, the colors on his face and on his hand, that kind of like a, you know, bruising kind of thing, like he just came out of a fight, um, that was screened. That was like a screen tool brush technique that I 
not learned, but kind of just figured out. And in the end, I just liquefied everything. And this is the final piece. I hope you guys like it. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and my Instagram. Um, you can see way more pictures on my Instagram than this. Um, but I will be posting this video on YouTube, as you guys probably already know with all my others. And take care, guys. Have a good one.